Newcastle United are in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. My name is Emil Franchi and this is the player ratings for Newcastle's 3-2 win against West Bromwich Albion. Uh, the guys who went peaky blind as beer going around the side of the advertising boards during the game. But who cares? We got through, which is the main thing. And in true Newcastle fashion, we almost had a little bit of a slip at the end. But never mind, we're one. That's all that matters here. Uh, Carl Darlo in goal, first of all. Um... He had some pretty good stops in the first half, I would say. Um, he was largely reliable, but towards the end, a few mistakes crept in. And, you know, we saw him parry it towards one of their players. It could have been dangerous. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Seven for Darlow. Mankio looked all right. He let things slip for the second goal, but he did make some vital challenges. Uh, forced the ball out. I think that he dealt with most of what West Brom were doing uh, when they weren't really playing to their full potential. Um, Going to give Mankio a six. A share. Solid game. He made uh, some of the much needed stops towards the end. He had a run towards the end as well that could have sealed it. Uh, so, yeah, Cher played a lot better than he has been uh, in some recent weeks, I would say. Maybe start him uh, in the league next time. Uh, eight for him. Uh, on to Jamal Lascelles, who, you know, he had a good game. Strong game, leading the back line, uh, very tight in the first half. Uh, heading of the ball was quite good. Threw himself around a bit, really got in the way of things. Um, and we'll give him a seven on this occasion. Danny Rose, I thought, was a lot better. Tremendous last-ditch moments. You had the header, which he just threw out towards the corner. So much better defending from him. Would still like to see a bit more going forward, but a really good display. There was a few bits where the ball was maybe wasted, but Rose gets uh, a seven as well. Uh, Lazaro was straight back in with an impressive performance. Uh, the goal wasn't much to shout about, but you know it gave us uh, a good threat as well. I think he certainly was the, the last remaining threat as, as soon as uh, Almiron and Sam Maximan went off. So Lazaro gets eight. Sean Longstaff, a little bit weaker than the rest on this one uh, too many wild shots towards the start I said on Twitter that he had like flubber on his feet the ball was just flying uh, all here there and everywhere um, and he wasn't switched on for some of the game you know the ball got away from him too many times um, but there was a few good interceptions there he looked a little bit wasteful but largely poor in this game Sean Longstaff unfortunately which is strange for a cup game so um, we'll give Longstaff five Ben Taleb got into a good position right at the start feet got tangled though uh, and he wasn't switched on it's similar to long stuff that middle two just wasn't really working in this game uh, and again the ball just kind of was a little bit away from him and it got past him and, and that was largely uh, some of the stuff that happened which caused West Brom to, to break away and get those two goals but um you know, we can wipe wipe it away for now and just enjoy this, I guess. Five for Ben Taleb as well. Um, on to Joel Linton, who was just brilliant in this game, I thought. Uh, another good performance. Uh, sensational run in where he turned, he cut in and he nearly scored. And if that had gone in, then ooh, many roofs would have come off across, across the country, uh, including at the Hawthorns. But uh, what about that back heel as well for Almiron? I know that it took its time to get to him, but some... Real, real promising moments there that uh, are really showing that he's uh, better off where he is now. Let's see what happens in the next few weeks in the league. Uh, Joe Linton deserves a nine. Almiron had an exceptional game. Uh, two well-taken goals in this one. He, he he ran at West Brom for fun and, you know, we did lack the pace when he went off. But those goals, man, invaluable. Ten for Almiron. I think it's fully deserved. Uh, on to Sam Maximan, who had a shot off the bar and we thought, bloody hell, we had a, a good lead link up play with Almiron and we thought bloody hell um, and he did the work for the Lazaro goal as well to bundle that one in nine for San Maximan we know what he can do and if that stuff can keep happening for the front three in the league then you know maybe we'll be all right but we're playing well against West Brom who are likely to be in the premiership next year so it's a bit of a gauge for where things are at the bottom of of the league at the minute because I think West Brom are probably similar standard if not better than some of the teams who are kicking about there certainly us on the day uh, subs in this game we had uh, Shelby came on uh, for Almiron definite shift in pace as I mentioned some good counters uh, but we did lose out a little bit on the effort and obviously West Brom did score two so Shelby gets six um, not saying he had a bad game but uh, there was definite change in how things went Gale similar uh, he was on for Sam Matt 
Maximan. He slowed it down a little bit more and he really should have finished the game off in those final few stages. So Gale gets five. Uh, Lejeune replaced Lazaro, but he was barely on. However, we did score. Uh, sorry, West Brom did score, but it wasn't his fault at all. So uh, that's that. Um, Cans, eh? We'll pretend that, that, that I did it. <coughs> Quarterfinals. Away, the lads. <laughs>